role in Emmerdale, but what many people don't realise is he's also a musical theatre star, currently stunning audiences with his incredible performance in 42nd Street. Tom Lister, welcome to the show. How are you? How are you, buddy? Good nice to see you. And you. See, I haven't got the old outfit on, unfortunately. <laughs> no, no, I thought I'd leave that at home. So what's it like being the star of the biggest show in the West End? It is incredible. Um, it's actually my first job in London. Um, I've done a few musicals now, but uh, since leaving Emmerdale about four years ago. Um, but to come into town and this be my first job on the biggest stage, you know, yeah. at Drury Lane in this huge show with a cast of 55 people, uh, it's, it's incredible. Before we talk any more about it, let's have a look. Shall we have you with the cast? <laughs> the extent of my dancing. No, it's not. <laughs> you, you've got two cracking numbers in it. Yeah, yeah. But also, what I love about it is, for you as a you know, proper actor, it's a really good acting part. It's an amazing acting role. And when, when I, th I first got offered the part, um, they gave me a script. Um, and, and it was an amazing uh, audition. I got offered it in the room by the no director, way. Mark Bramble, who actually wrote the show as well. And he directed it, what, 30 years ago? Well, he actually co-wrote it when it was originally conceived back in 1980, and this guy called Gower Champion directed the show on Broadway, and this amazing Broadway producer, David Merrick, put the whole show together. So uh, all these people kind of are within the character of Julian Marsh that yeah. I play, really. And then Gower Champion famously died on opening night on Broadway. So the director of the show died, so the cast went up and performed. Gosh. And, uh, and they weren't aware, and then David Merrick jumped up on stage after the show and said, we need to tell you that Gower Champion has died today. And the cast would all just like... Oh goodness me. And then suddenly it was, it was front page news across the world, and then 42nd Street, uh, since that moment to this, has not been... There's not a week gone by when it's not been performed somewhere Perfect. in the world. So it's got this illustrious history that's gone on for 37 years. What, what I love about it is you could not put more colour onto a stage. <laughs> There's more gold. It's <laughs> yeah. just incredible. And that scene, because the whole thing starts, the clip started there with everyone on stage dancing, and that's how the show begins. Yeah. Because the curtain only goes so high right in the yeah. beginning. And my heart stopped because I thought there was a fault. Yeah. But that's what actually happened... In the tech run or something. In the, yeah, the, the, yeah. The, when in. they first like was starting to do the tech or the dress back in Broadway, they they were about to start, and then they went, no, no, stop, stop. And so they suddenly stopped the curtain, and you could see everybody's. So you just see it from knees down, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. And they went, oh, that looks amazing. We've got to keep that in. <laughs> and everybody's like, oh, that's one of the most iconic moments, and it's such an incredible opening to a show, yeah. and it was all an accident. And, I've got to say, I, I was sitting there really proud for you because I've known you for a few years and you, your performance is brilliant, but the whole show is so uplifting. Yeah. Okay, you mentioned the fact that it's been done years and years ago, but I think it's still relevant, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, when we first started um, the whole process of putting the show together and the director sat down and told us all the history of the show, he actually said, I think there's never a better time than this to bring this show back to London because actually this show was born of a time of depression in America when um, things were really tough and we all know what's going on in the world today. Yeah. People come into the theatre and have two and a half hours of pure escapism yeah. and they sit there with a big smile on their face and the show gets bigger and bolder and brighter and louder and, and by the end, invariably, everybody's on their feet um, just... We get these incredible stand innovations at the end of the night. Yeah, there were three, I think, the night I came to see. <laughs> yeah. was, and I, of course, I got up as well. But I kept, I kept sitting there in the audience thinking to myself, that guy having the time of his life on the <laughs> Theatre Royal Drury Lane stage could have been a PE and a geography teacher. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I never really in intended to kind of go down this road of being an actor. I, I grew up in a tiny little village in the Yorkshire Dales and I just assumed I would go and do something like become a teacher and I, and I, and I loved sport and then when I started doing A-level geography I realised it bored me to tears <laughs> so I started to um, think about doing some other things and then we were in this football team um, 
for the high school and they asked us all to audition for um, the school show and um, because the teachers had written this whole piece around um, VE Day celebrations and yeah. it was all about the football team going out to fight on the Somme right. and they, how they got obliterated. So we all auditioned and I got the lead role and then I just got this bug and, and then I've never really looked back since. I know, yeah. it's amazing. You, you, you mentioned Emmerdale earlier on, four years ago you left now. Um, do you miss it? I miss the people. Um, I, I felt so fortunate to be in that show and I'm... I'm Such loved... a nice character as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a great character. I mean, obviously I killed people, slept with half the village, yeah. uh, fought with pretty much everybody and blackmailed most people yeah. along the way. But I just felt that I was misunderstood. <laughs> I do love it because there was a time when, you know, he was doing terrible, terrible things and you'd kind of stand up for him. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. But, um, yeah, I left that show cracky four and a half years ago now and, and I love love the fact that it's getting all the recognition that it deserves nowadays and I've, I've still got great friends um, and I, I was able to cut my teeth there and yeah. make uh, all the mistakes and, and because of that you know I'm, I'm able to be in the show today and, and I, I have nothing but great fond memories of, of that job. It's been a big commitment for you though having to come down south because the family are up north. They are. Uh, wife yeah. and two children. Yeah. Uh, I've heard that Ben, he's 10 isn't he? Yeah. Uh, he's got a production of his own isn't he? <laughs> Slightly less <laughs> tap. Yeah well he's just, they're just doing a, a summer production of Midsummer Night's Dream so he's just, um, he's got the part of bottom so. Okay. So yeah he's, um, he's, he's gonna, he's loving it and uh, my wife's already said you need to sit him down with those lines, you need to make him understand yeah. it, and, uh, because he's got to be good. W would you mind if he followed Dad? Um, I certainly won't force them into it. I didn't get into it until quite late on, and, and they don't go to stage school or anything like that, but they are um, extroverts. And, and when they come down, are you having to do the whole tourist, do you think? <laughs> yeah, they went on, um, while I was doing a matinee, they went on the open top buses and, and went to see all of the sites in London, and they loved it. And then they, I took them to see School of Rock. Oh, right. Okay. Which I think the boys actually slightly enjoyed it a little bit more than my show, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> probably because he's got swear words in it. Yeah, probably. Of course it is. Well, listen, all I'd say is that um, I was so proud of you, as I say. Um, it's a fantastic show. It really is. And, yeah. and you, your star really does shine in it. Um, oh, thank really you. Really pleased for you. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, you'll hang around, won't you? Absolutely. Good. After the break, Scottish singer-songwriter.